Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to the last, the third and last episode of Angler's Ask series, okay? So last week, I talked to you guys about um, rods and like the tackle pairings. So this week, we will get into lures and lines, right? Let's begin. All right, so let's get into it. Question one, we have Jie Yu. And Jie Yu asks, what does PE rating uh, really mean on the line and rod? Thanks, she says. This is a pretty hard question. Okay, so let's just start off with what PE means, okay? PE means polyethylene fishing line, okay? So the PE rating uh, you see on lines, line packaging, right? It actually refers to the diameter of the line. It does not represent the breaking strength. Okay, so let's get this clear, yeah? So when it comes to choosing a suitable PE line for your rod, you have to check the rod's line weight, which is uh, bracketed in PE. It will tell you the maximum PE line weight that the rod can handle. When it comes to rods, it tells you the, the strength, but when it comes to line, it tells you the diameter. So do check out the following table that we'll be putting here for the conversion from PE rating to line diameter. Okay, so uh, I hope this helps uh, answer your question, Jiayu. And let's move on to the second one. Jonathan Wee asks, how do I know where to cast my lure for different species? Okay, um, Jonathan, that's a very good question again. <laughs> okay, uh, it's very hard for you to know what kind of species you get depending on the location, right? So uh, the best advice that I can give you is that um, you have to know where the fish uh, will usually be, okay, if, given any kind of uh, situation. So um, in freshwater fishing, you definitely, or saltwater fishing, right, you definitely go for uh, locations with a lot of sunken structures, okay? Why sunken structures? Because it is a perfect location for fish that are looking for food, okay? And it also provides a very, very good hiding spot for fish. You'll probably have your best chances of fishing close to these sunken structure spots for highest chances of uh, strikes. Okay, the third question. Uh, it's by Faiz Rusli. Um, why, he asks, why leader line is a must? Okay, um, this is another very, very good question. Okay, so the leader line is very necessary because of a few reasons. And okay, one of it is because fish have very, very sharp teeth, right? So you want to protect your line as much as possible, right? Because when, when you hook on them, they squabble a lot, they fight back, right? And they might just chew off your braided line if you only use braided, right? So another reason is because when you're fishing, right, be it saltwater or freshwater, if you have a lot of a underwater structures, right, especially for saltwater, you have rocky seabeds or corals, the leader line acts as a protection to resist any abrasion or uh, the line being cut by sharp rocks or any underwater, other underwater structures. Okay, so this is very important. And finally, a leader line also acts as a shock absorber for the braided line. So if you've ever held a braided line, right, any kind of line, when you pull it, it doesn't stretch a lot, okay? But when it's a leader line, it's quite elastic. It stretches a bit when you pull on it. So uh, imagine if a fish, right, when you strike on a fish, if a very, very strong fish takes your bait and runs off with it or dives down, right, what happens? This, it will suddenly be a very, very strong tension in the line, okay? And if it's braided, uh, it will be very, very easy for it to break. But when you have a leader, it's a short absor absorber because it's elastic, okay? So it absorbs some of that shock by the, uh, by the strike of the fish. We have Martinus Rinaldi. Hope I got your name right. Uh, Martinus Rinaldi asks, what is the best lure uh, Shimano has for Toman, aka Giant Snake Head. Okay, so um, in my opinion, right, um, the best lures to target for Toman would be minnows, pencils, spinner baits, or rubber frogs. And for spinner baits and rubber frogs, you can uh, take a look at the Bantam series. Okay, the spinner baits is called Swaggy, and for rubber frog, it's called BT Frogs. For anglers who are doing side casting, though, Side casting means that you just look around and cast, okay? Uh, it's the most efficient way of casting, I would say. <laughs> and not like just casting randomly. So side casting, right? You wait until the toman surfaces a bit and shows its head a bit. And you cast to its vicinity, okay? So if you're doing side casting, then the pencils may be the best uh, lures that you can use. 
Bryce Angler asks, the thing I love about fishing is what works today and catches you many trophy fishes may not work tomorrow. Right? Does the Shimano team think that evolving and changing bait presentations is important to consistently catch good sized fishes? That's one question. And the second part of the question, or would keeping uh, to a tackle box of what worked in the past be a better option? To keep up with the changing times and to maximize each angler's potential, right? Shimano, we have never stopped developing a new technology for lures, reels, and rods, okay? So uh, for lures in particular, we have this new concept called the boost concept, where we have three boosts. Okay, you have the first one, which is jet boost, and second one is scale boost, and the last one is flash boost. I have an example here for flash boost, as you can see here, right, it's constantly flashing, right? Um, the technicalities of these technology is like way out of the scope of this video, but then we do have a video on YouTube um, explaining how this works, and we will put it in the description box below. And yes, we definitely recommend that you don't stick to just one technique or one lure. Everything depends on the conditions. If you've ever had a look at one of our videos by Mr. Yamamoto, uh, he's a very, very skillful jigging expert from Japan. And he is one of the instructors from Shimano that has been churning out lots and lots of tips and lots of videos for us to learn from. He looks at everything like the sea conditions and the time of the day, morning, afternoon, or evening. Right? Looks at how fast the current flows. If he's doing drifting, or if he's doing slow jigging, or light jigging, or just normal jigging. Okay, we definitely recommend that you change up your strategy often. All right, guys, thank you for joining us today. This will be our last episode for the entire series. But if you would like to see a continuation of this series where anglers ask, please feel free to drop your comments in the comment section below, okay? So that we know if this video is working for you guys or not. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to follow our Facebook and Instagram pages. Okay, till then, take care and fish safe.